Now I have a new workshop, it was time to upgrade my router table. The first version was just a hole in the table. Later I built a route lift in it. I removed the router lift from the table in order to get the right dimensions for the CNC file. I will use the piece of black MDF and took it to my CNC, which is now just 20 meters from my workshop. Because the outside dimensions of this piece of black MDF was already the final dimension, I clamped the sheet material to the CNC bed with some small pieces of wood. Then I run the CNC program for the router lift some guide rails and the holes for the holdfast and the bench dock. I also made the hole pattern on two sheets of birch plywood in order to get the right thickness that is required for using the holdfast. So I glued and screwed these pieces together. These two pieces of birch plywood came from one full sheet. If I would have made the two pieces the same size as the black MDF top, then I needed two full sheets birch plywood. The other advantage is that where the route lift sits, it's easy for changing the router bits. So I glued some extensions with dominoes.
for the legs and frame I used hard maple that I had to mill down to the right dimensions. In one of the legs I made the electrical connections for a switch that can turn on and off the router.
After I screw the legs to the table, I place the black MDF layer on top. I did not add glue in case I want to replace it in the future. So I just took out the screws from the bottom two layers and replaced them with longer ones. Then I checked with a holdfast if the holes are aligned. And because of some glue and the rough surface from the CNC, I had to clean them with a 90mm drill bit. Then I rounded off the edges. Then it was time to mount the guide rails and the route lid, and of course test it if it still works. Finally, I mounted a trim from maple around the workbench in order to protect the soft MDF edge and give it a nice appearance. I hope you liked this video and please let me know what you think. In the next video I show you how I use this router workbench for my next project. Mm -hmm.